Hello and welcome to the vlog. Moving on from Basscoat and the first issue is getting round this corner under Bridge 26A because as you can see it's quite a sharp turn and completely blind. You have no idea whether another boat's coming the other way or not. With a crew you could send someone ahead on the towpath to scout it out and give you the all clear but travelling solo I just had to inch forward in tick over and make good use of my horn which was just about still working despite the mauling it got at the swing bridge a few days earlier. To make things worse once you turn round the first bit you see the corner just carries on so the tense anticipation of a collision is sustained in the most unpleasant way. Finally you clear it and can see your way ahead again. Phew. This leads to the locks at Itchington and Stockton, ten in all, double width of course on this stretch. I'll tackle the Itchington pair first. Those locks done you go past Kay's Arm, named after the cement works Kay and Company that once sat at the end of the arm to which supplies were delivered by canal. It's now moorings. After a quick water refill it was time to tackle the Stockton flight. I did the first one on my own but soon after was joined by this rather splendid 80 year old boat of the Micron Theatre Company. The company's a charity based in Yorkshire that tours on the boat and performs at, in their own words, allotments, care homes, community centres, dry docks, festivals, pubs, restaurants and village halls. The actors weren't actually on board that day but they do live on it and use it as their dressing rooms when they're performing all round the country. More importantly for me they had crew and that means people to work the locks and they were jolly friendly too. So it was a breeze going up Stockton locks and I'm very grateful to them. If you see them performing near you one day do go along and support. You know you've reached the top when you see this hire boat firm and the sign that confirms it, Stockton Top Lock. There are many narrow boats with busy roofs but I think this one takes the top award. Have you ever seen a more cluttered boat? To starboard here's a new canal arm being built at the site of Willow Wren Training. They are quite literally digging out a channel lining the bottom and sides and making a place for boats to moor alongside their main business which is offering canal boat handling and maintenance courses. I must do one of those. I'm still following the Micron boat at this point, quite handy because we come to another flight of three locks at Calcutt soon. Before that what about this for a wide beam? Most unusual but there must be loads of living space in there. and another of that ilk just a little further along. A lovely long straight stretch here east from Stockton down towards Gibraltar Bridge. These youngsters look like they're doing well. And isn't this lovely? Super countryside, the sun's properly shining. I'll let you take it in for a second. got to envy the boats who've got private moorings here with that view to look at every day. I've no idea how you get such a mooring, they're not canal and river trust ones. And so to Napton Junction where you turn right for the South Oxford Canal or left up to the Grand Union back to Braunston. That's the way I'm going so by the time I get there I'll have completed a massive loop that began several weeks earlier. That's Wigram's Turn Marina which is right on the junction and I'm filming as I turn the boat. Looks quite pleasant and a nice spot to have cruising days out from. A quick look back at where I just came through and then it's onwards to a somewhat twisty little bit of canal with some tight turns. 
A few people have suggested I show a bit of boating in real time, that is to say not edited, so here follows two minutes of one bit and then another two and a half minutes of another bit. Hope you enjoyed that, I'm moored just after Bridge 103 near the village of Fleckno. 
I've moored up in some lovely spots and some not so lovely ones as well. But this one is truly stunning, absolutely gorgeous. I'm not so far away from Braunston, I'm still heading back towards the Crick and Yelvertoft direction ready for the Crick show, but I'm going to be up there about a week early and I've got many, many things to do. I've got some paid work to do and also I'm going to be taking the boat out of the water. Why am I going to do that? I'll let you know in a later vlog, I think. Time to put the kettle on and relax. Join me, why don't you? <laughs> 